Welcome to my channel and welcome to the flip through and paper test in the Forest Girl Premium Edition by Apple. It's a beautiful Korean book. I recently received it as a gift and it's my first Apple book. I, of course, always uh, looked at the beautiful colored images in her books and I always wanted to try to color something myself and now because of the gift I finally can color pictures with this beauty and the book itself it's a piece of art because it has hard cover it's big it's almost A4 size just a um, couple of millimeters smaller in the height and it has the same width so it's big and of course I was quite curious how various art supplies, especially water-soluble media like watercolor, artisa gouache, neocolor crayons, water-soluble pencils would behave on this paper in premium edition because I don't think that I have enough patience to do the whole page, the whole background with pencils. So of course I was very interested in testing paper thoroughly. Cover is really beautiful. I need, I think that I need something, some kind of cover to protect this pleasant creamy cover. Uh, very pleasant to touch and of course a very nice and delicate picture in Apple style. Inside book also is really beautiful. It's heavy so you can immediately say that it's printed on a very thick paper several of full color pictures created by apple and in the very beginning we have these pages the spread for paper testing but we will return to it a little bit later here we, we have introduction of the main characters of course i will try to translate all those uh, brief introduction explanation about apple and her friends and I think that we can either select the same colors for apple, face, eyes, hair, to make a story with the same character, or we can use different colors for her eyes and hair. Maybe it will be more fun to practice how to color different um, hair color. I haven't decided yet, but I intend to color a lot in this book, because I absolutely love her style. I love that everything printed in uh, gray, dark gray shades, mm, those black lines, they are not very thick, they are not oppressive. Shading is a very helpful and very delicate, so I think that it's definitely a book for me. A right amount of the details exactly like I prefer. And let's start. Here we have the first part, pretty things from the forest. I think that everyone already familiar with Apple books, Apple style. Paper indeed is a very thick and it's a pleasant warm white color. Not the cold white, but warm white. And yeah, it's very thick. Here on the left we have full color image and on the right picture to color. I think that it's very traditional for many Japanese and Korean books. And honestly, I always felt that for me it's oppressive. Maybe that's why I don't have a lot of Korean books in my collection. When I already have a fully done image on the left, beautifully done with nice selection of colors, perfect shading, I feel, I don't know, overwhelmed, like I never will be able to do something similar in the beauty here on the right. That I definitely will be repeating the same colors. So for me it never was a really good thing that we have a full color image for them, for each of pages. But here I hope that still I will be able to find my own solutions, my own colors. And of course, maybe for several pictures I will be using this beautiful color combos because here, honestly, it's it's just perfect. Beautiful shading on the leaves. And again here, look at some very delicate line art. No thick lines, 
very delicate shading and at the same time quite helpful. Here we can see where we need to put shading on the um, fabric, on the folds, on the fabric, on her hair, on the leaves. So definitely very easy even for beginners. I think that maybe I feel less suppressed here because here we have smaller images on many pictures. So it's <laughs> not so overwhelming. I love that here we can find many pictures um, according to the uh, stages of the year, according to the season. And of course the main characters, they are so adorable. Absolutely love compositions of all her pictures and amount of details. You know that I love to color interior designs and I love to color landscapes, botanical elements and you can see that I can find everything here. She is an amazing artist. She can draw anything. Flowers, buildings, beautiful rooms and of course adorable animals and girls. Yeah, these pictures they are quite helpful. Uh, very interesting idea how we can do object on the uh, foreground more detailed and with more intense colors and the background it's just uh, a hint for the background with more uh, light pastel colors without too many details and it helps us to understand how to add depth to the page. So really helpful. Look at this cuteness. They are looking at the family of bunnies and all those details with the carrots. Oh my god, absolutely adorable. And that's one of the really good autumn pictures, but maybe I will save it for November, because in November we already have those empty branches almost without leaves. In October we have slightly different look of our trees, so maybe for October I would select this one. You can see that I already have a bookmark here and a variety of the leaves here. It's so interesting beautiful marble leaves here and I do love <laughs> this color combo. So maybe at least for the background I will be using the same colors. Maybe I will just try to experiment with the colors of her hair, dress, but for the background I can copy this beautiful color palette. Well, that's definitely picture for our November or maybe February. Yeah, February probably is the most matching choice. Ah, look at this one. The second part, it's a good day for a trip. Definitely a part for me. You know how much I love to travel and how much I suffer without being able to travel. Look at this beautiful color palette. Maybe not for this page, maybe I will try to copy this background for some other works. I think that it's not cheating, because I absolutely love how Apple here created this background. So amazing. And another one beautiful background. Oh, they are underwater. So nice. And again, Apple is so talented. Her fishes are so beautiful. Between here she also has slightly different color of her hair. So maybe I also will be experimenting. Oh, so nice. This tree with fruits. Next one is definitely for those who love to color kitchens, everything connected to kitchen, to interior designs. Oh, such a beautiful landscape and again very helpful how to color sky and mountains. Here again we can see how to do um, a background in 
with um, less detailed shapes of the leaves and more detailed leaves on the foreground and in such a way you can get depth. I forgot to mention that actually all the pictures they have names here. Also quite nice. You know that I love when pictures have names. It helps you to start thinking about the story behind the page, behind the picture. I don't know how long it would take to finish this one, but of course it's beautiful. That's why I wanted to test my water-soluble media, because I think that for this kind of empty background it would be quite nice to be able to use neocolors or watercolors. And here started the winter part. Uh, this one is so nice, making her New Year wishes. Here we have the third part, which is tea time on clouds. She has such a nice dress here. And perfect shading and highlights on her wavy hair. Very beautiful. Oh, so many nice things. You know that I love to color such things for my birthday, so maybe it will be one of the pictures which I will save for August. So many cozy interiors, cozy rooms. I would say that this book is perfect for coloring during the whole uh, cold season from the end of autumn through the winter time and beginning of spring. You can feel a warmth even from uh, coloring these pictures. Oh, this one is so nice. They have another friend. Oh, they have a couple of bears. The big bear to help them to paint and tiny one. So many cute details. Some pictures are more simple, but you will spend more time on the background. And some are maybe a little bit intimidating because of the many details, but for me, when you don't have to think about the background and when you just need to color tiny elements, it's still easier, even if more time-consuming. And here again started my favorite part, because it's about winter, Christmas time. Look at this beautiful color palette, a very limited colors, amount of colors, but perfect highlights and shading. So we can see highlights a little bit near the girl to attract attention to her figure laying in the bed. Then a little bit of light on the window and of course the snowman, the guest to the room. Perfect, absolutely perfect coloring. And here we have a couple of festive pictures. You know that I always enjoy to color uh, different um, um, decorated Christmas trees from various artists during December. So this one will be another um, gemstone into my collection of various Christmas trees. And that's what we had. And finally, let's talk about paper. You can see that I did quite detailed and very thorough paper test. Here I started with neo colors. Uh, first of all, paper is very thick, so uh, I didn't have any problems with bleeding through. Even if pictures are one-sided, I still don't like to have those problems with bleeding. And when we have this beautiful color image on the left, I don't want them to be messed up because of the bleeding through. Let me adjust, maybe you will be able to see better. So I started with neo colors, and they behaved traditionally. They created some you know, blotches or um, spots, but they were able to um, cover paper. And that's where I started to realize that paper is thick, but um, how to explain it? It has medium tooth. I have in many books much toothier paper, so that's a medium tooth. But when you actually start to work on it, you can feel um, structure of the paper.
it's like when you start to color you start to feel fibers of the paper uh, especially when you um, apply bigger amount of water so here um, new colors they behaved just like i expected here i put simple layer of green watercolor one layer here and then i added um, less uh, diluted amount of paint of pigment here along this side well watercolor behaved not so bad but colors they look not as bright as in many other books they look slightly more dull like part of the brightness of the um, paint it disappeared and i know that it's quite green quite bright green so it's definitely more dull comparing to what I had on my swatches or in other books. I have to remember about this uh, feature when I will select watercolors for my backgrounds here. Next, I used water soluble pencils Kohinoor Mondelus for the inner part here and Aqua Blend here. Aqua Blend it was a nightmare. I am trying to find some books, some paper, where I can use my pencils, which are quite demanding to the paper quality, like Color Blend, like Mitsubishi, like Aqua Blend. So I hoped that maybe on this thick paper I could finally use my Aqua Blend pen. But I absolutely don't like here. You can see that coverage is uneven. When I started to apply water, paper immediately absorbed pigment. I wasn't able to do gradient between yellow and light green. So I definitely don't intend to use them here. Mondelus, well, slightly better. Maybe I didn't uh, select the right colors to test, but well, at least for complicated gradients, I don't think that I will be using them. Maybe for some of the areas where I can allow myself to have this slightly uh, uneven coverage, I can use them. Still, not very happy how water-soluble pencils behaved here. For now, my favorite is gouache paint. So, definitely it's time to use in full... Uh, force my Arteza set. I do love how they covered paper without white spots, without visible stains, blotches, and I even managed to make kind of gradient between those two colors. I know that it wasn't a perfect match. I simply wasn't too, wanted to see how light color and dark color would behave and yeah, I think that gouache for now is my favorite for the backgrounds here. Next, I started to test pencils. Well, color blend. Uh, what can I say? Um, very uneven uh, blending and um, I feel that I need to press too hard for them to give pigment. Even when I used blender, they looked slightly better but still far from the effect which I want to have on the pictures. Mitsubishi were better. At least I managed to do uh, more or less smooth gradient even without blenders. But as usual with Mitsubishi, when you apply even just one layer, you feel that they started to be very waxy. So I think that maybe a couple of layers, even with very light pressure, that's what you can get from those pencils. When I feel that I don't need to do complicated shading, maybe I will use them. What I'm always afraid with Mitsubishi is that when I color something and later when I feel that I'm not happy with the dark areas, when I want to um, deepen my shadows, it's not always easy to apply dark color like dark wine or even brown, for example here, to make shading deeper paper is already quite burnished because of the wax layer. That's a problem with Mitsubishi. You immediately need to use very dark colors for shading because from on the second step you won't be able to uh, correct your mistakes and to deepen your shadows. What I can easily do with 
polychromosis, for example, I can apply second layer and to make my shadows exactly like I want them. Well, next, problematic pencils are Kohinoor polycolors. I have my landscape set and I was thinking that maybe with those landscape colors they can be also good for this book. But you can see that um, they also showed quite uh, actively those fibers of the paper. I wasn't able to do very smooth gradient and with their hard tips I felt like they started to ruin the surface of the paper. Well, but <laughs> I know that all those experiments, they were slightly disappointing, apart from Arteza. But I tested those pencils and media, which are always problematic. And in the end, I tested my traditional polychromosis, and it was perfect. Even with the lightest pressure, they provided, as usual, a very bright and nice color. I didn't bother with doing a very precise blending because I was sure that I will be able to do it more nicely in the future. So polychromosis are perfect. And then even such a budget pencils like this old edition of Star Joy, they were also quite good. At least I didn't have to press hard like I did here or here. And they covered paper without visible white spots. They glided over the surface of the paper. So sometimes such a budget and cheap pencils they behave better comparing to the quite pricey Mitsubishi or other blends. I definitely will continue to experiment with my other budget pencils. I know that Prisma colors they are good everywhere. I am sure that Arteza and Su color will be quite nice. I wanted to do test for those pencils. And well, as a secondary medium where I don't care about those slightly blotchy. Um, not very even coloring. Maybe I will use them, but for now I think that Arteza gouache plus polychromosis will be my main media for this book. And of course I am very eager to start my first project. If you have experience in this book with this paper, I will be very happy to hear your opinion. What's the best media to use here? And Again, thank you for this wonderful gift. It's absolutely amazing. I think that I can color it from the first until the last page. It's a perfect book.